Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with DF Ninja Hacks. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is a funnel. A lot of people have a lot of views on what funnels are, and most all of them are wrong. I see people using funnel builders all the time to build things that are not even remotely close to funnels. They're building landing pages and all kinds of other stuff. They're even trying to build blogs on some of the funnel builders that don't have blogging capability. But today we're going to go through specifically my definition of what is a funnel. Then I'm going to show you what a funnel is not. And then I'm going to show you what a funnel is. And that funnel is the one that we're going to then build out over the next several videos. So let's take a look at what is a funnel. In my definition, a funnel is a linear process designed to convey a sales message where the single desired outcome is an exchange of value. So we have two main things here. A linear process. It goes in one direction. It starts with one page. It goes to the next page, to the next page, to the next page. That's how it goes. It doesn't have a hundred million different links. It doesn't have a bunch of off ramps. It doesn't have things for people to do there other than click a button, put in an email address, put in a credit card, put in their name, buy stuff. That's what it is, a linear process, one step to the next. And the biggest thing here is you have to have some sort of an exchange of value. You have to exchange an email address for something, a free something, a paid something, whatever. I guess paid something, you have to exchange a credit card money for the paid thing. That's it. So you basically, you're exchanging either an email address for something free or you're exchanging money for something of value, a product, a training, whatever it is. So let's just take a look at our standard web page right here. And in your standard web page, whether it's a blog post, whether it's a landing page, whether it's whatever, you're going to have all kinds of links represented by these little dashed lines. And so along the top, you'll normally have some sort of a menu with drop downs and whatnot. If it's a blog, you're going to have a bunch of links down the side in your sidebar. Down in the footer, you'll have a bunch of links to other products, other you know, videos, whatever. And then, of course, you have represented by these circles here, you have all the links off to all of your social media. So on here alone, you got 12, 15 different links, all taking somebody from this web page to who knows where across the Internet. And so that's what it starts to look like here is you have all these links going off of this main page. So let's say this is your root domain. Off of your root domain, you got dozens of places where people can go, whereas a funnel, again, will have one place for someone to go. And of course, as we take it one step further on our web page, this is what it starts looks like times a thousand. So links going in, links going out, links going all over. And the other thing that you're going to notice here is let's say that this is your the first page of your funnel and this is the second page of your funnel. You're getting links to that second page of your funnel from all kinds of different places. There should only be one place that that second page gets a link from and that's from the first page. First page links to the second page. Second page only has one link to it and that's from the first page. Whereas here you don't have that. And that's again one of the things where we talk about when we talk about SEO is you want to make sure that every page in your funnel except for your first page that you do not let the search engines come and spider it because you don't want the second, third, fourth page in your funnel ever showing up on a search result because you always want people going to the first page. So let's just take a look at our very simple funnel here. So our first page we're going to build out is going to be an opt-in page. And the thing that you really need on an opt-in page is somebody to input their email and click a button. Now you can do that as just putting the input form right on the page. Or if you do like a really long sales letter, you can put the opt-in form maybe way at the bottom. And along the way, you can have buttons. And each one of those buttons, as you click on it, you can scroll down to the opt-in. Or you could have a pop-up on the page. So anywhere on the page where there's a button, they click the button and the pop-up opens there. Now, I'm not going to build out 
some of that there because I've got at least five or six different videos down further in the training that will show you how to scroll to a section or how to open up a pop-up when somebody clicks on the button. But the biggest thing here is there are no links leaving this page. There is a button, and when that button is clicked, it either opens up a pop-up that has another button, but when, either way, when that final button is clicked, it will take you to the next page in the funnel. And again here, for an exchange of value, what do we have? We're, get, we're getting somebody's email address in exchange for something. They're getting a free coupon. They're getting a free report. They're getting something of value given to them, maybe even a free membership site. But they're getting something of value for that email address. So after they click on the final button on the opt-in here, we're going to go to the next page, which is going to be the order form page. And again, on here, it's very simple. You have them put in their name, credit card. If you need their address because you need to ship them something, you put that in there. And then a button to submit the order. And in this one here, I put down here, we need the checkout form. That is a specific form inside of Drop Funnels. I should have said over here on the opt-in, we need the opt-in form too, but, um, or I forget what it's even called. It's not an opt-in form, but it's, it's close to that. But we'll go through that when we go through that training. But we need the checkout form on the order form page. That's the one specific thing. Anything else you have on there, it doesn't matter. You just need that one element, that checkout form. And then, if you so choose, you could also put an order bump in there so that they can also click on that and add that order bump to their original purchase. Again, there is no link, and our exchange of value is whatever it is you're selling them for their money. They're putting in their credit card, and they're giving you they're giving you money, and you're giving you there you are giving them that thing. And the, the big thing here: what is the purpose of the order form? The main purpose of the order form is to get the wallet out of the pocket. That is it. You've got to get the credit card out of the wallet, out of the pocket, because that starts the process here, because you could have several upsells and downsells after this. We're only going to build up one of each, but you could have multiple things going forward. And so it's at this point here, we've got to get the, got to get the credit card out in order to start the whole selling process. So the next page then in the funnel is going to be our upsell page. And again, we just use the upsell downsell module right inside of drop funnels. And I say down here at the bottom, there are no external links because technically in here, the yes link and the no link are both links. So I just want to make sure there was no external links, no, nothing to your social media, nothing to a blog post, nothing else like that. So again, we set this up so that if somebody clicks on the yes link, because we're running this through Stripe, all they have to do is click on that link and it will automatically add it to their purchase over here that we set up on the order form. And if they don't want it, they can click on the no link. And of course, the exchange of value again is money for something. And so if they click on the no link, we'll just go to the last picture here. If they click on the no link, then they're going to come down here to the down sell. And then, of course, they have an option again of clicking on the yes or the no. In either case here, they're going to go to the confirmation page. And on the upsell, if they click on yes, they again will go to the confirmation page. Now, like I said, you can string together a couple of upsells and a couple of down sells if you want. But for what I'm building, just our simple funnel here, this is what I'm going to build. So then you send them to the confirmation page, and again, you have to have one specific form on that page, and it's called your order receipt form. And that basically tells Stripe, it tells Drop Funnels that the transaction is over. Once it sees that order receipt page, then it knows that the transaction is over, and then can, can charge the credit card at that point. So on this confirmation page, you can call it a confirmation page, a thank you page, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but a lot of times what you want to do is you want to start the upsell process to the next funnel. So you can have on here an offer wall. So at the bottom, let's say you got three boxes and you say, hey, you may also be interested in these products. And then you have three more products down at the bottom and they can click on those and go somewhere else. Or you could have on this confirmation page, you could have a video on there and you could just immediately go, hey, yeah, we, here's, the here's all the stuff you're getting, but you want to start watching this video right now because this video is part of your training 
And then that video, actually, when they click on the button in regards to the video, they're going to go to the next funnel. They're going to go to the next order form. They're going to go to another opt-in page, something like that. So think in terms of when you're on the confirmation page, think in terms of, okay, what else am I going to sell them? I got them hot. I got the credit card out of the wallet. They're in a buying frenzy. What else can I sell them at that point? And just keep the process moving forward. And then again, of course, on the confirmation, once they, once they get there, you're going to have your autoresponder, send them an email. And what's going to be in that email is going to be the information about the product that they bought, how do they get the product? How do they get access to the membership site? Whatever information you have to give them. So that's it for this video. In the next series of videos, we're going to take a look at first, we're going to build out an opt-in page. Then in the next video after that, we're going to build out the order form and the products and all that kind of stuff. And I think we're going to do the upsells and downsells. And then on the last one, we're going to do the confirmation and then run through and show you how to test your funnel at the very end to make sure that it is working. So that is it for right now. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.